Hi everyone and welcome to this panel hosted by War on Cancer. My name is Mona Esmaizade, I'm a medical doctor, neuroscientist, entrepreneur. Uh, Jaba, do you think that mental health has become more prioritized, um, you know, prioritized part of cancer treatment uh, or what's your take on mental health um, and mm -hmm. cancer care? Well, certainly there is a positive perspective in this regard that mental health needs are, you know, more and more met. But if I may say, for example, in Romania, less than 5% of cancer patients have any kind of access to psychosocial services. And certainly uh, we need to accept better that mental health and all these psychosocial needs are not the other side, you know? Many times we hear, well, you know, you just have to get through it and be a survivor and be positive and, uh, you know, you will fight cancer and you will be fine. Well, actually, um, the psychological part shouldn't be the other side. It should be the same side. I mean, the human side. Cancer is a wholesome experience. It's not really divided between something that is happening in your body or something that is happening with your uh, mind and your mental well-being. Exactly. So, and, and we all know how um, your mental well-being and also, for example, feeling alone or isolated and all these things, we actually know that that also physically affects you, right? To, to a quite... Um, I mean, measurable <laughs> extent. So there are, of course, many studies on how um, different parameters mm -hmm. such as cardiovascular events or pre -more, pre um, like early mortality. Um, yes, and also all the immune system and uh, exactly. uh, yes, our, 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 our psychological uh, functioning and our psychological well-being, it's, you know, it's um, impacting everything, including our decisions that we take regarding our treatments and regarding our communication as well. And of course, quality of life, which is certainly important from the start of the cancer journey till, you know, the survivorship planning and, uh, you know, transitioning into work and transitioning into a new life. Yeah. Jaba. Yeah, let me say that my dream is that... Um, you know, in 10 years, we will not have um, mental health issues and challenges in cancer care as a kind of luxury or sometimes as a kind of luck, uh, but we will have it uh, like an essential part. And I certainly will uh, like to join you, Fabian, because I believe that health should be, you know, our concept and our way of dealing with health in cancer care should be redefined and should be broad enough as to cover all these issues and all these uh, all these needs that are in the psychosocial uh, part of this cancer journey. So, and let me remind you that uh, access to healthcare, including mental health care in cancer, is also a human right. So, I strongly believe in this, and I dream that it is going to be essential, integrated, and uh, broad enough for all the experience that we have in cancer. Thank you very much.